Morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another update on the uh, Factor Slick and my health and all that sort of stuff. Um, right, so where are we up to? Chest infection, pretty much sorted now. Feeling pretty good. Um, did my first run in, what, three and a half weeks last night? Um, I'm a bit off plan because I'm kind of in between in between events. Um, obviously cancelled my marathon, which should have been in about five weeks time, four or five weeks time. Cancelled that, so I'm kind of in between training plans. Um, so I decided last night to go along to our running club and I ran in on my first ever Tuesday effort session, which I've not done before, which was pretty fantastic. It was a, a session I set up for the other guys. It was six minutes, six out of 10, sort of half marathon pace, I suppose. Three lots of three minutes at 10K pace, eight-ish out of 10, and then six lots of one minute at nine, 10 out of 10, I suppose. Um, nice little session. I, I did the six minutes at marathon pace, 720s. I did the three minute blocks at seven minute mile pace, which isn't quite 10k pace um, and then did the one minutes anything from about 640 through to about 615 so lungs were working super hard heart rate was crazy high but i think i did getting on towards five miles felt pretty good um i also had a little bike ride yesterday about seven miles on a gravel bike again feel like i'm working a little bit but i really enjoyed it so today i'm probably going to get out for another short bike ride later on but for now, it's this thing. Let me show you where we're up to. Okay, so I have taken out the bottom bracket and I've started removing... Um, bottle cage is gone. Handlebars are almost off. I've been looking at where and how they fit, so they're almost off. Uh, the little box on the back bolts are almost out for those those ones are going to be a bit of a problem because they are <clears throat> pretty well jammed in i reckon they've had a lot of sweat in there probably some corrosion and they're going to take some getting out um brakes look to be fairly straightforward hopefully they should come off okay but yeah let's whip a few more bits off uh further update okay so this is the chain set that's going on it so it's a rotor two in power um, power meter with what are they pyramid cycling chain rings I've got a 56 and a 44 on here this came kind of in the deal with the frame set I got this for crazy cheap money because the battery wasn't holding power the guy I bought it from said you have to charge it up every time you use it and the battery lasts a day or two if you're lucky um, so I got that for like a hundred quid or something um, I sent it off to Velo Tech <clears throat> for 35 quid they've put a new battery in it calibrated it set it up it is as good as new it needs a bit of a clean up because it's filthy but that's about a thousand pounds worth of chain set and chain rings for about 130 quid bit of a steal isn't it um so yeah here the bottom bracket is off the box is off and the other fittings are off let's crack on do a bit more
the front brake off. Handlebars off. Now do I keep those black or do I get them sprayed? They've got the graphics on, I keep, think I keep them black. I don't know, they're a bit marked. What do we think? I don't know. Okay, so that's most of the uh, handlebars stem off that sort of thing. I've got to figure out how to remove the forks as it looks like a bit of a locking uh, ring in there. I think that'll be one of the next jobs. And then I'm just gonna now take off the seat, seat post and this little bracket on the back. Oh, and the, the bottom brake, that, the back brake, that's gotta come off as well. But nearly there, bottle cage bosses. I've undone those already so they can come off. Hopefully I'm going to get this in the post today, get it sent off, if I can get those top bolts out, get it sent off, and then we can start getting somewhere with the paint job. is the hidden uh, seat post mount. Nice little factor part. I don't know if you can see this, but it's a lovely touch that all of the bolts are factor, factor bolts. They're really cool, I like them, very nice. Except for those top two, of course, which won't come out.
back brake out. Hopefully that can go back in as easy as it came out. That is the back brake cable housing out. Okay, handlebar stem uh, for top mount is a lot easier than I thought. It was just an Allen key bolt to undo. Didn't have to worry about the split pin. Nice, simple little top mount and the forks are out. So we've just got to knock out top and bottom bearings, clean it all up, get some of this grease off and we're good to send off. Awesome. Okay, bottom mount came out nice and easily, and now it's just a top cap, top bearing, super, lovely. That's all come apart fantastically easily, which is nice. So, time to box it all up and get down to the post office. I bought a box from Amazon. Let me just grab it. Hang on. I wanted to find a decent box to send it off in, so I got a box from Amazon, which is a 32 inch flat screen TV box. Um, you can just buy the cardboard box with all the packaging, 20 quid I think off Amazon. Dimensions wise, it fits this absolutely perfectly. So I'm gonna get this package up now and then we'll head down to the post office, get it sent off to my paint guy. Okay, so I've drilled out those two bolts Kind of terrifying thing to do, but um, very carefully drilled them out in increasing drill bit sizes until the thread sort of crumpled and came out. So hopefully I've done a pretty good job there. Took off the derailleur hanger, that was the last thing I'd forgotten. Um, all that is left now to do is get into this cardboard box. So frame set has been sent off now to be sprayed. I posted it off this morning. That's gone off to the paint sprayer. Um, I initially said there was no hurry for that. Why do you say these things? Oh, there's no hurry. Of course there's a hurry. Um, it might take a month or so to come back, I think. Um, but it's gone off anyway. It's gonna be stripped, sanded down, a bit of a job there in sanding it down. And all I'm doing for now is something that's just been winding me up about this crank set ever since it came back from being calibrated, is that it's it pretty much came straight off the bike, so it's filthy. Just covered in um, old chain oil and grease and stuff. So I'm just giving it a clean up so that when I do get the frame back and I want to start putting it back together, this will be pretty much ready to go. As I said, it's all been calibrated. Not used a rotor two in power chain set before, quite excited about that. I've only ever used stages one side of power meter before, so. We'll see how we get on. I think this is probably better. I don't even know what length the crank arms are. I know some people get very fussy about crank arms and how it affects you running. 172.5, that's okay. I, I've always used 175 mil crank arms. Um, aware I should probably use shorter ones, but not lost too much sleep about it. But hey, there we go. I'm moving on to shorter crank arms, 172.5s. I will use these. I think they're more accurate. That's probably unfair. I've always got on fine with stages. I think this is probably a, a better power gauge. Um, yeah, so what else have we got? Race update. So I've cancelled my marathon that I've got in a month's time. Um, but I think I'm going to be doing Outlaw Half um, Holcomb Hall next year. That's I like to do a half iron on my Ironman journey. So, and I've, last couple of times, Outlaw Holcomb has gone on, I've gone over and watched, and it's a really lovely race. I really enjoy the race and the setting and everything. And hopefully, my stepmother and my sister and my mate will come too. We'll both race, and Vicky and my stepmother will both do the half marathon on the Saturday, make a big weekend of it. So that's Outlaw Holcomb, sorted for July next year. Hopefully, what else have we got? Sicily, half marathon in December. I think that's going to be going ahead. Um, 
Haven't decided on my Iron Man yet. Haven't decided. I was looking at potentially doing it with a friend. Um, I don't think he wants to do full Iron Man journey now, so it's something I can just choose on my own, based off my own goal. Um, that's better, a lot more cleaner. But yeah, I've got to have a good think about which one I'm going to do there. I'm going to be using this Factor Slick for it. I want a fairly fast one. I would like to get sub 10, so any suggestions, fire them into the comments, please. Let me know what you think I should do. Wales is one I've always wanted to do, but it's not obviously going to be a fast one. Um, Lanzarote would be lovely, but that's early in the season. Again, probably not the fastest. Barcelona, I think, is a bit of a draft fest on the bike. and I'm not particularly keen on drafting. I want to have a nice, honest, fast course um, where I can just get my head down, hold the power and just race well. So yeah, any suggestions, fire them in. I'll probably end this video here, I think. A little midweek video. Try and get into the habit of giving you more content. Even if it's just random boring stuff like cleaning up a crank set. So yeah, I'll leave it there. I will um, catch you on the next video, which hopefully be no more than a few days, maybe at the weekend when I'm back training again. Hope you're having a good time. Hope everything's going well. Let me know what you're up to. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.